Welcome back, boys and girls. Welcome back to another episode of Digimon World 2003. Hopefully, I've improved our schedule, and this episode is not um, taken forever to come out. I'm currently uploading the next one, so I do apologize for the delay. Um, it should be up very, very soon. But yeah, how has everyone been? You been well? Good. <laughs> Let's just stop. Anyways, guys, um, going on from last episode where I believe we took on all of the leaders. We've got all of the IDs now from the Amaterasu server, um, which means we can now go through Amaterasu City because we've lowered the Nightmon's defenses. However, before we travel over to Amaterasu City, <clears throat> we're going to come and take on the dungeons in the Amaterasu server. <clears throat> Sorry guys, Ugh. Um, our Digimon have undergone some upgrades, as you can see, Kumamon is Marsmon now, I'm not sure if we had Marsmon last time, I should have really checked our last recording, but uh, Marsmon's an absolute beast, <clears throat> uh, unfortunately though there isn't any kind of main inn up leading up, so like where we just were, which was like the kind of snowy inn, that was the closest inn there was um, up into the Kulon mines. So, we just have to uh, manage our resources. And you can kind of get a glimpse of our Digimon now. So, everyone's kind of like 44, 45. So, it's not too... A little bit of grinding. And we've also gotten a few... All of our Megas now. Um, yeah, so I've just been grinding a little bit of their, their levels and stuff. Nothing too too crazy. Um, there's also going to be quite a few people to steal off in the dungeons here. So, we do... We have leveled up our Gilmon into Gallantmon and we've leveled him up to level 50 I believe where he learns Snapping Claw which is basically an improved version of Picking Claw. Um, we're also hopefully going to be able to steal an item that's going to help us steal better if I believe. I just need to double check who that is but I'll do that afterwards. But there should be someone I believe in the Dark Dungeon that's going to help us uh, get an item that's going to allow us to steal better, which is going to help us in our future grind. Uh, we're also going to get an item at the end of it, if we can complete it all, that's going to help us level up quicker as well. So, yeah. So, what we can do here... Oh, look, there's someone actually that's not an Oinkmon over there. That's interesting. Oh, we've got a Meldrumon here. I believe we can steal uh, Bolt S from Meldrumon, but I've already gone and done that already. Uh, I'm just going to use Heaven Hit here. I'm not sure. Actually, this is probably a fail, actually, considering that you can get Bolt S from this guy. It's probably resistance to electric attacks, but no problem. We're going to take this. Take this to the face. Probably hurt a bit. Yep. Luckily, kumon has got bundles of HP. So you can take those attacks for days. Uh, yeah, we've got three... Three S powers now. We've got Metal S, which is this one connected. We've got Bolt S, and we have Wind S. Metal S was from Machine Drummer. I'm not sure if I did this all on camera. I might have done this off camera. Uh, from Machine Drummer, Bolt S is from Meldrumon, and um, Wind Power S is from Griffinmon. Um, but yeah, so I'm sure I covered those. But yeah, we're gonna go in here just to show you. This is where we can save. And also Metal Etamon, which is going to be use, useful for the epic items. Hey, I'm actually a genius weaponsmith, but you guys got no tips. Come back again once you've got better armors. So we're going to have to go to him for the um, epic weapons quest, which I've never actually completed. So it's going to be really cool to go through. I've got a survivor here, someone who didn't get hit by the Oinkmon Ray. Uh, Sakura, you're not the AOA, then I'll tell you something great. There are weapons you can't buy or get in a treasure box, but if you become friends with certain Digimon, you can get it. So you should talk to as many Digimon as you can. And she's again referring to the um, Epic Weapons quest. Uh, nothing that I need to do around here. It'll be interesting to go around all these places once everyone has um, transformed back to normal. But anyways, uh, we're gonna. I'm just going to quickly heal up Kumamon. Alright, all done there. And now we're going to head on out to the Ice Dungeon. Now, here's the thing, right? The Ice Dungeon, for those of you who may or may not remember, 
Be careful from here, it's dangerous because it's so slippery. Um, it's got like a... You've got to step on the right teleportation platform to teleport you to the right location. It's actually different to the one in the Suka server. So I kind of remember where it is. Even the AOA didn't come this far. There's too many traps in the dungeon. So I vaguely remember... Uh, let me go back. And I remember it being pretty much like the opposite of of the other one. So let's go here. It's like the last one I ever tried. So it's probably the one on that far right over there. Yeah. So it's not this one. Because basically in the Suka service, the one's on the left, right? But on this one, I believe it's the one's on the right. I could be wrong. But that is from what I can get from memory. I can't remember. I'm not sure if you can steal anything from Skull Mammoth Mon. So I'm not going to bother. I'm not going to bother trying. I'm just going to try and take him out. Uh, I'm just going to do normal, normal attack. Uh, not sure if I did this on camera, but I've also taken out the multi crest from him. I just think he just packs a punch on his own. Doesn't need the multi crest. Wastes a lot of time. Um, in case you guys have just joined us, surprisingly enough, because we've actually got a lot of lot of support recently from this series. A lot of people sub in and commenting. Really appreciate it, guys. Good to see that there's a lot of appreciation for this this classic classic game. Um, and in case you guys didn't know. We are playing this, most of the playthrough anyways, um, without Counter Crest. Haven't even used it to grind, which is kind of silly, I probably should use it. But I haven't been using Counter Crest at all, so if you're like, oh, why didn't you use Counter Crest? That is why. Alright, I think I need to do something here. Do we go this way? Yeah. Yeah, Counter Crest is just a bit broken. Even in this game, it got nerfed. Um, where it doesn't do it all the time. This moves pretty good. It, it freezes the enemy. If it if it lands, does it work all the time? Yep, frozen. Which means we can just have a field day with him. Yeah. So even though Counter Crest got nerfed in this version, which is the European version, I guess, um, it still hits like 40 or 50 percent of the time compared to the US version, which was 100 percent of the time. But it's just so. Yeah, it's just too good. <laughs> it's too good, and it makes a lot of the boss battles just absolute cakewalk. So yeah, so we're trying to do it without any of that. Is this where I came last time? I feel this is. Maybe we need to get to that one over there. Let's try this. Yeah. Ah. Shucks. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. Let's go around here. And then yeah, nope. <laughs> um, damn encounters! All right. Uh, sorry guys, I'm like getting lost right now. Uh, so I believe I gotta go like this. Do do do. All right. Oh. Right. Fingers crossed. Does it take me to the? No, it's not that one. Hmm. Alright guys, ignore me then. It's not those first two. Then let's go down here. Uh jump down here. Is it this one? What? Okay. Um let's go down here. Come on. Have I missed one? Oh. We injured boys. Let's go. This is his new move by the way. Mi Misu Kiko. Misu Kiko. Just a super powered version of Soul Charge. Um, let's see. Normally I do, what is it, 512 per attack? Let's see how much I do after this. Get a block. Nice. Ooh. Then Marsmon comes out of attack. So remember, 512 guys. And we one shot. There we go. Boom, boom. That's going to be super good when we do our boss battles. So yeah, Marsmon is definitely an MVP to get on pretty much all these evolutions. And that's one of the reasons why 
I also like starting with Kumama. One of many reasons. Come on! What? Where are we going? Where are we going wrong? I've gone to all the dolls. This one then. What? Which one have we not gone on? Luckily you don't get into any random encounters whilst on the ice. Alright, we went to this one. We haven't gone to this one. What? Guys, am I am I missing something here? <laughs> Sad. Good experience, I guess, grinding whilst doing this, but not what I wanted to do. Kumon's hanging in there though. He's been on 1035 HP for a while. Come on. Damn it. Survive? Nope. Alright. I'm going to Gilmore. I'm going to go into Kabu Terminal. Because I've still got to grind him up to level 99. Which is going to take a while. Uh, we can do a nice hammer rush. Sorry guys, I know I'm not showing off Gallimon. But I will. Later in the video. Gotta be patient, gotta be patient. Alright, I kinda just wanna keep going. Even though Kimon's at 1 HP. <laughs> uh, it's just frustrating me. Don't get frustrated, don't get frustrated. Okay, 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 okay. So I'm sure we've tried both options that go. Actually, have we? Have we, have we tried this one? Ah. Okay, definitely try those two, okay? Okay, let's try the one that goes right on here. Leave me alone! Right, now we're going to try this one. But the one that goes right. This is the one. This is the one. Yes! Okay, please let me. Please let me. No! Oh, no. My Kuma one has one HP, guys. <laughs> if you really want to, ah, Ice Master. If you really want to, then you have to defeat me. All right, I just have to fight and win, right? That's it. You know the drill. Okay, let's begin. Okay, fine. Bring the heat. There you go, guys. So I knew it was somewhere there on that side. It's just I proper messed it up. Sorry, guys. All right, we've got here Vike one who can hit like an absolute truck. So we're actually gonna do we're actually gonna do a live plug so I can heal some MP. Not that my MP was that low, but um, let's give Kim one a little bit of a fighting chance. Just over a little bit more than two thousand. Damn, damn, damn! How much? How much? Nine hundred. That's okay. Uh, I do. I want it, but sorry, guys. That's my fault. I should have realized that you would get into a battle straight away. Okay, okay, okay. This is good. This is good. I'm going to try Brain Freeze him. Um, should work on these battles. Maybe the big, big boss battles it won't work. But Oh, that was good damage. And he's frozen. Frozen and can't move. That's fantastic. We're going to do a normal attack. Um, okay, that's good. Okay, this is alright. This is alright. Can we get a block? No blocks. We have to be careful because he can counter normally. Um, I think we're going to get two attacks here. So what I'll do, I'm going to attack normally. And then I'm actually going to do my Misho Cookie. And then my Mrs. Cookie, that's what I'm going to call it. And Tillamon. 
All right, we're gonna do Missy, Mrs. Cookie over here. Save Archie. Mm, and then I reckon we might be able to one shot and tell him on here. Nice block. Um, I think I'm at a decent level, guys. Don't think I'm over leveled. I think I'm at a good, strong level for the content. <laughs> nice little one shot there. Do we go twice now? Oh, Scorpio Mon. This is. This is. Ooh, tempted to swap into my um, Gilmon right now. Um, just because this Scorpio Mon, this is Black Scorpio Mon, he actually uh, drops a super rare item. It's a super rare drop, and you can steal it. It's uh, TP plus 5, so it will give any Digimon you give it to. Oh, damn, this might hurt. Um, 5 TP which is crazy and that's how you basically get max stats in this game cool so now I should maybe be able to one shot him with miss with the miss cookie ah oh, no Scorpion why, why, why are you doing me like this oh, I might have to brain freeze you time to brain freeze you sir okay let's hope it works Brain freeze. Frozen. What? You're meant to be frozen. Alright, it would be a bummer if we now lose uh, Kumon. So I'm going to do one on the most supercharge. Um, I'm going to say we only use two. Because the first one was kind of like, you know, my bad. Block. I think his attack actually does more. Yeah, it's roughly the same. Man, you're meant to be frozen, this guy. Be nice if we could steal the item from him, or if he can drop it. 569. So one more frozen can't move. Boom. Marsmon is very, very solid. Able to take the W. Well done, Marsmon. Handled that pretty nicely. 783. Well deserved. Level 75. Do we learn anything? Nope. 1818 bits and no drops. Damn. That's okay. Now we're heading to the fire dungeon, I believe. You're good. I'm impressed. This is a gift from me. Take it. Oh, yeah. We get some good stuff as well. What do we get? Oh, we got an MP chip. Yay. <laughs> it gets tougher from here. Be prepared. Right. So we got the fire dungeon now. Uh, I'm going to put Gilmon at the front. Uh, those of you who do not remember... The fire dungeon. Uh, the fire dungeon has some some traps where if you land on them, you you get obliterated and you basically go back to one HP. So, and as far as I'm aware, there's no way to truly tell where the traps are. Now, the reason why I put go go Gallimon. Because I know you guys want to come see Gallimon. Look at him. Um, it's because there's some Digimon, I believe, that we can steal from. Uh, we can also steal from Blue Merrimon. So, might as well. But I already have the item that he drops. Uh, he drops... He drops the Mega MP Proxy. Which basically just short... Um, it minuses the amount of MP used by about, I don't know if it's like 10% or I don't know, it's, it's like a weird, weird number. It's not, it's not that much to be honest. I'm currently using it on Patamon, but it doesn't really make too much of a difference. Eventually, once we get a bit further, I'll probably take it off. Okay, I'm on level 55, nice. Uh, we're going to use Patamon to take on the, the Fire Dungeon King or whatever, but we'll just have one up first so yeah so I thought I'm looking there's no signs I don't know if it's I mean, maybe I have to walk but yeah I'm kind of risking it to be honest because if I healed see if I had healed and then carried on walking then you know would have been a waste but let's just see Ugh, I really don't want to fight blue one one you're not my target uh, just try run yeah we're looking for um, Lynxmon. You can find Lynxmon here. Uh, who's just basically like a giant fiery red cat thing. Um, 
he drops Firepower S, which is really good to get. Charging one, no, not really, not who I want. Uh, charging one attack, if I don't block, I am dead. Nice, ooh. That's also why I've got Gilmon in front, because he's super fast. <clears throat> and he's able to block. So make sure you have one Digimon at least, guys. Alright, it's really, look, right here, you know. Alright, so I'm just going to do this. Just because... There's no other thing over here, is there? It's super risky, guys. Don't do this. <laughs> Go away. Alright, guys, I'll be back. I'm just going to try to run into one Lynxmon. Because I have faith that we'll be able to steal it from him. One Lynxmon. Be back. Alright guys, after a few minutes, managed to find Linksmon here. So I'm hoping that I'm getting I'm gonna be able to snatch out quickly. I'm not sure, but we'll see. Probably should have gone with picking claw. This is snapping claw, which basically deals the same amount of damage as if you did the normal attack. And uh, hopefully has a good chance to steal, but obviously not. I'm only gonna try this once, by the way. If it doesn't work, uh, then I'm just gonna go fight. <laughs> because hopefully in the next Dark Dungeon, I'm going to still get an item that's going to allow me to steal better. So I'm going to start using Picking Claw just to give me more chances because it does way less damage. Uh, 164. But yeah, trust me guys, it's just it's quite a small rate because it's quite a rare item, uh, Firepower S. So that's why, you know, I'm not trying rubbish guys, I'm not lying to you. You definitely want to get at least one. Ugh. I think I'm gonna kill him here. And I, I feel I've never stolen something on the death blow, so. Well, guys, I tried. I tried, and I don't think he dropped anything either. Oh, level 46, that's nice. No drop. So, yeah, so uh, I'll come back for him after. But we're just gonna go and we're gonna take on uh, the fire guy. We're gonna put Padamon at the front. Do -do -do -do. Patamon, you know, Patamon's a um, true solo artist. Uh, you guys will be able to see Seraphimon in action as well. Fire Master is dangerous beyond here. You really should go back. Or do you want to defeat me and proceed? Uh, yeah, that's right. That's why I'm here. You're a troublesome tamer. If you win, you can go. Alright, let's fight. Love our the main character is just like, yeah, sure, yeah, I'm a Don, I'll take you all on. There we go, Linksmon, we, we can technically have another chance at stealing from him, but we're not gonna, and we're just gonna set up with Double Guard. Do -do -do. In case you don't remember guys, Double Guard can stack up to three times, and it's gonna considerably mitigate all their normal attacks. If they start doing, um, if they start doing, you know, like special attacks, like, I don't know, Flame Inferno, all these different things, and that's a different story, um, we will take pretty much the full bulk of it. But, like, we took 700 and something last time. As you can see, that was reduced to 500, and this should hopefully reduce it to into the 400s, or maybe a low 500. And then all we have to do is one heal. Uh, see, 500, yeah, so low 500. So we actually couldn't take any more. So if he was much um, faster, then well, we'll be screwed because he would have done a double attack. We're gonna do a mega heal here, heal up back to full. Um, and yeah, we're gonna just go with our ground wave. And hopefully, now that we're set up, we might be able to sweep. There we go. Next one's gone. Oh damn, I didn't notice he had double links mod. Maybe, maybe we get the drop from this fight. Doo -doo -doo. Yeah, pathetic. As you can see guys, definitely keep that double guard on. It's, it's very, very good. Oh. I believe Seraphimon learns his own version of it, but he might learn like mega protection, which is good, because it, you know, increases everyone's effects. But it is very costly. In terms of MP. <clears throat> also, guys, I need to go back and get another Search Crest because Search Crest is absolutely insane 
it raises you know your critical chance and stuff oh we got creepy mon interesting oh this might this might hurt all right well we take that like a boss um we're actually gonna go for silph storm because i'm sure this guy's a dark type i don't know if he's referred to as fire or dark but um as we found out before wind is actually really effective against dark types so let's try silph storm he blocks it. Ooh. Interesting. Darkness Chaos. Let's hopefully it does the same amount of damage. Um, I'm not sure if I want to risk. Uh, 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 uh. Um, I'm just going to get a heal. It's going to recover Gilmon as well. <laughs> um, just in case he does. Oh, okay. Just in case he did like a normal attack. Right, I don't think our, our defense buff is really affecting this attack. So this is just because we've got quite high wisdom and stuff. Yeah. Man. That was quite a decent sweep. <laughs> you one shot everyone. Nice. That's good XP. I'm sure Patamon is actually almost level 45 as well. I was grinding a little bit of Patamon. So that was really, really good. Uh, you're strong. I'm impressed. I'll give you this. Use it. Anything useful? Yay, I got a mind chip. Our leader's beauty. He's strong. That's right. The dark leader. He's the one that's going to give us the experienced adapter. Now, I'm sure there's some good battles here. Um, and there's definitely people that we need to steal from. Um... So, yeah, so let's let's look for that. And we didn't get the drop, by the way, guys. There's no item in the game that increases drop rate. That would have been, that would been quite handy. In case you don't remember, guys, when we walk on those kind of, like, cubic platform, the whole screen goes dark. I believe this guy drops something. So, let's go. Let's start snapping our claw. Oh, we survived that. Darkness Chaos. Come on, come on, come on. Damn. We're gonna need a lot of a lot of healing items. Pick and claw. Just give me the item, I'll be on my way. I'm sure he does. I might be I might be talking rubbish, but stole dark power S, yes. woohoo! There we go. So we don't need to take on Gilmon any or Gormon, sorry, anymore. Uh, and we can just do our normal attack. Alright, nice. Turn to 46. These guys give very good experience. But now that we've got Dark Power S, that's gonna be very, very handy. Um do we have I think we have water power S or where do you get water? I think water power S comes from Metal Siege Ramon, I believe. Alright, let's just I bought a few superchargers by the way guys, so should be good for now. Yeah, so yeah, so when we're on these cubic things here, um, the whole screen goes pitch black, like so. And we need to step on these kind of glowing pink things to um, to make the screen go white again. Uh, and if we go onto those kind of platforms, we teleport back to the start. So we don't want to do that. So we want to head up to the to the left and go up. So we're gonna go here. Let's see, okay. So we want to go up and then left, I believe. Okay, 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 okay. Now we can't actually see the next one. So we're gonna go up, left, up. So up, left, up. Oh dear, we're stuck. Oh, that was close. Okay, 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 okay. Right, so yeah, so we came up, left, up, and then it was there. You can kind of know when you hit a wall because your your Digimon start kind of like jumping on your channel. <laughs> so we're gonna go up, right. There we go. So can you see the stairs? That's where we need to get to. Uh, let's go here. 
then we go let's go up and then here uh, let's go over here just to see so there's nothing's here let's go back here hmm let's go over here then we're gonna go we're gonna go that way left all right okay okay i think there's an item down there so we're gonna try to go for it yeah how much oh we got hazard armor which is gilmon's no i thought i'd missed it never mind that's uh gilmon's armor that's all right we kind of know where to go now we're like oh 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 dear oh dear where are we oh somehow we got stuck oh shit. okay and then here and then here there we go diagonal up until we do this yep oops do have to be careful not to overstep who have we got yes this guy okay i believe he's the one that drops the item we need to improve our stealing so let's go what you got what you got oh dear didn't realize we we're gonna do that much damage Okay, hopefully that doesn't do too much. 602, yep, we can have that. Okay, pick and claw, please don't kill. Please don't kill. Okay. Mm, didn't steal it. I'm gonna try pick and claw, even though I said I've never stolen anything on the death blow, but just in case. Mm. Right, hopefully it drops. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Ooh, check out that luck hack system. Woo That's gonna improve our stealing. Oh, let's let's just get into safety. Um didn't actually does okay. Game's been a bit weird. Um I'm not sure if it if it like if I put it with hack sticker. If it if it kind of um you know, combines, but I don't think it does. Hack system, still easier. Cool, cool, cool. There we go. Bit useless to have during end game, but I'm just keeping it so in case we need to do it. Right, so let's carry on. So we go here, there we go here. There we go here, I think. Yeah. There we go up here. There we go. Oh, don't do this to me. Okay. Then we go down here. Then we head on up. Right. So, Gilmon is going to be the guy to start with. If he struggles, then we will just uh, just swap over to pattern one. So, we've got increase max MP. Uh, just going to do this to Gilmon. Raise by 18. Increase spirit, uh, we'll give this to Patamon. Three. Nice. And there you go. Train chip five. So increase TP by five. So super, super good. Uh, we want to hopefully get a bunch of that. And now that we have the hack system, we might be able to do it. So here we go. Here's the Dark Master. Hmm. Who are you? You come here to challenge me, punk? Yeah. You'll fight with me, right? You don't know what you're asking for. All right, I haven't seen a tamer in a while. Just watch, I'll show you who's bad. I'll show you who's bad. Cause I'm bad. Oh, he's got just pretty much the same, uh, the same setup as the other ones. Uh, we haven't really got any cool moves with Gallantmon just yet. So, kinda sucks. Uh, I'm just gonna go Mega Protection. Um, just in case we got to swap out. Can we block this? Nice. And then we're just gonna go with our normal attack. Cause yeah, Gilmon's a bit Gilmon's a bit gimmicky right now. You know, he steals, he supports. He's kind of a support glass cannon kind of guy. Very weird. <laughs> But he's super fast, so he's able to hold his own. 
And as you can see, due to the mega mega protection, we take hardly any damage there. Mm -mm. Who have we got next? Piedmon. Now, does Piedmon drop anything? I think it does, but nothing too uh, too important. I'm just gonna do another mega protection here. As far as I remember, Piedmon actually deals a lot of damage, so I wanna, yeah, I wanna try and prevent that. Okay, 610, bad. Uh, I'm gonna go for Snapping Claw, just in case. I'm not sure if he drops anything, but we're gonna go for this because it's, it's gonna deal the same amount of damage as if I did his normal attack. Plus, it has a chance to steal, so. Oof. Come on, come on, come on. 610, we can take one more of those. Um, magic Deck Drains, Counter Alert, Snapping Claw. Could do Counter Strike, should we do that? No, I think we kill him in the next turn anyways. Man, he, he's pretty quick though. Can we get a block? Alright, uh just gonna go. Nice. And the last one, if I'm not mistaken, is Farmon, right? Oh, Infermon. Oh, interesting. Um okay, okay, okay. Uh, we're going to do one supercharge, since everyone was able to solo, you know, don't want Gilman to be the, the odd one out, he's got a solo too. Plus I'm mega protected, so should be okay. Nice. Ooh. Uh, I don't think Infomod drops anything. As always, let's snap and claw this bitch. Nice. Give him one normal defense, that's okay. Ooh, this might hurt. <sighs> Didn't expect it to hurt that much. Okay, Patamon, Seraphimon, yep, you got a nice dark tolerance. Um I am gonna revive Gilmon. Gilmon deserves the EXP. Patamon normal defenses, no. We're gonna go uh, life disc. This is simply for EXP purposes, guys, otherwise yeah, didn't really need to do that. Um I've got no buffs right now, so a bit nervous. 824, so we can take one more of those. But we should hopefully be able to finish off with Silvstorm. Oh, damn. Take one more. Darkness Chaos. We can take a few of those, hopefully. Nice. Uh, so, Silvstorm. Come on, come on, come on. Nice, he's dead. Yeah. So definitely guys, go for wind damage. Um, wind elements when taking on the dark guy. 505, see that's good. Good XP, Gammon almost level 60, that's good. And Patamon continues to get her XP too. But we've got pretty much all we came for. Well, apart from the item that he's about to give us. Dark Dungeon. You're pretty good. I'm slightly bummed. But you won against me. I'll give you this, so take it. And he gives us the EXP adapter, which is gonna come in super handy when we start grinding. You you can become a great tamer. Good luck. Now if you remember in the Suka server we've got the matrix chambers that go out through here, but this one's got nothing, so we kinda have to just uh, <laughs> make our way all the way back. Luckily we can just take these teleports. But unfortunately with the fire area, we're going to be getting damaged, which is super annoying. Mm -mm -mm. But yeah, we definitely want to be giving those, that EXP adapter to people. Hopefully we can find Link Spawn on our way. I don't want to kind of run around. Nope, go away. Should we test out our hack system? Snapping Claw, let's see. Let's see how good it is. Did we get it first time? No, I bigged it up guys, I bigged it up for no reason. Nah, definitely get it guys, definitely get that hack system. Just in case you do need to steal any particular item, it's just, it's going to be super, super cool. Super handy. You're making me look bad, man. You couldn't steal it, couldn't even steal it once. 
Come on, block, block, block. Nice. And pick and claw. Cool. So now we've done that, guys. We've got the EXP adapter. It's going to be a good setup for when I do need to grind because there is going to be a big grind for me coming up very, very soon. Um, so, yeah. <laughs> Exciting stuff. Um, but what I do want to do is show you probably one of the best places to grind. Also, we got to go look at the legendary gym, right? In this server. See how that's doing. Right, um, we're just going to heal up. I'm going to use Patamon to do her massive heal. Patamon learn. What did you learn? You learned Giga Heal, which heals pretty much everyone's HP to full. So, new new complete steer. Uh, we're just going to quickly try and find Linksmon again because for some reason this guy keeps avoiding me. Do -do -do. Right, and here he is. So I'm gonna go for pick and claw, um, snap and claw, attack and quickly steal items. Yeah, I don't know. I'm not sure if the rates go up, but we're just gonna go for pick and claw because I get more chances to do it. Hopefully, I can block a few of these. Picking glow. Come on, come on, come on. It's meant to be easier. Finally guys, stole firepower S. There we go, that was done. Just I stuck with the picking claw to be honest guys. Um, as far as I'm aware as well, you can only steal once. <laughs> so you can't like keep on stealing. But that's alright, now we've got a firepower S, no need for Linksmon anymore. Gilmon's getting a lot of EXP. But we can now move on. I don't think there's anything I need to take. From the ice one. Actually, does Antillamon drop ice power? Maybe she does. Do you have anything to say? You'll be able to fight with full force. I just know you can. Blah, blah, blah. Mm -hmm. Do you have anything to say? No, man. I destroyed everyone. Uh, just going to see if I can fight Antillamon real quick. Telemon is here. And let's go with the pick and claw strats. So we'll be back once uh, once I steal it. I'm sure it's Antilamon. Finally, man, that took a while, guys. Jesus Christ. Yeah, and in case uh, in case I didn't mention it, guys, you definitely can't stack the the hacking items um yeah i tried to do it and it just doesn't just doesn't um attach <laughs> so it kind of like it takes the other one off and stuff so even if they are different i guess because they do the same thing but yeah so there we go i also gave uh just to try it out gilmon the the experience adapter that added about 50 or so to that that's not bad Oh dear. Don't do this. You ain't got nothing for me, Mammoth Mon. I'm getting out of here. Right, guys. So, once you've stolen all of that, because we've got pretty much all of the powers, barring one, I think. we All we need is water power, which we can get. But I'm also going to show you where to grind, or where you can, where a lot of people do their late late grind anyways and um, and also we're gonna go to the legendary gym here just check it out maybe we can end up with some training as well and next episode is when we'll finally head towards 
Amaterasu City and do what we need to do there. So sorry to keep you guys waiting. But we will be going there eventually. So here we are. Lake of Ice. This is a tough area. A lot of strong Digimon around here. So proceed with caution. Um, and yeah. And you want to come here. And you want to fish. Some really good Cardmon to fight here. Uh, but that's who not who that is not who we're after, and of course, that's exactly who we get. <laughs> It'd be really cool if you could steal the card packs from them. You know what? I'm gonna try. I was gonna do a normal attack anyways. Might as well do a snapping claw. Who knows? I don't think I've ever stolen a card pack from a cardmon trying to flee. Well, maybe we're fast enough where we can go. Well, we can go twice. Can we go twice? Let's go twice. Did not flee. Trying to flee. Okay. I'm just going to do normal attack. That's not bad though, guys. That was pretty much free experience. And we get um, a booster pack. <laughs> there we go. 282 experience. Nice. Uh, we can load counter strike, which is okay. And we get 15B. 15B is a good boost pack. Pretty much strongest non-rare boost pack. You can also get a uh, boost pack rare 5 from him. But yeah, you want to be landing on the green. Because we're going to come up against the enemy that we faced earlier. Which is Black Scorpiomon. Now, Black Scorpiomon is a little bit of a wuss. And likes to flee. Uh, so, on top of the hack sy um, system. You can also get the... I think there's an item that makes them run away less, but I haven't got that. So I'm just going to go Snapping Claw. I haven't told any difference, by the way, between Snapping Claw and Picking Claw. Just go and Snapping Claw because we want to try to finish them off. Okay, because we don't have one of the powers, our attack is lowered by quite a bit. And we definitely can't take another one of those, but we're going to keep on just snapping away. Hopefully we can pinch one of those TP thingies. Nope. Uh, risking, but I'm going for a picking claw. Can we get it? Can we get it? No, we cannot. He's going to go Titanic Wave, which m is most likely going to kill us. Womp, womp, womp. Very, very sad, but it's alright because we got Mars Mom. And Mars Mom can finish him off with one attack. So yeah, and this is basically where you want to be training up. Um, you want to be able to be at a point where you can two-shot him with the powers. So you want to put Bolt Power S. Again, that's dropped from Meldramon. You want to put that on because that's going to be most effective. And as long as you can two-shot him, you should be able to kill him most of the time, even if he tries to flee. And the reason why he's good is, one, he gives you good XP. Uh, gives you 272. If I had, uh, if Gilmon was alive, there'll be even more because of the experience adapter. Probably about 300. Um, but on top of that, he also has a chance to drop the TP chips. Now it's extremely rare to drop the TP chips, but doesn't matter. Even if you get it once or twice, then it's success, right? Because you're you're leveling up, and plus it's easy. You you don't need to keep on running around into battles. You're literally just fishing, um, so it minimizes the RNG kind of thing. There's still a bit of RNG just with how the fishing works, but you know it's a it's a very it's a good place to grind late late game. Um, so I will be doing a lot of my grinding here. I probably will go fight one of the Numamons though for when I'm grinding up the some of the other rookies. But yeah, so we're going to go and head over to the Legendary Gym. I'm going to run a, run away from this Mammoth Mon, just because we, we don't want to deal with his crap. And yeah, we're going to just keep on going, and we're going to get to the Legendary Gym. Hurrah! Who's up? It's got the cool music still. Mm -mm -mm -mm. And yeah, let's see who we have. Okay, so we got a few guys here. Uh, I've got a feeling they're going to want a card battle. Tamer May. Hey, wait. I'm not the AOA. I ran and came here. 
it's safe here you can duel here so yeah sorry guys seems like these guys want a card battle so we're gonna do just a quick card battle here it's not too bad gives it a bit of uh differentiation and then i guess i'll go and i'll do some training um at the at the gym as well down at the bottom and then we'll wrap up for today's episode so we're gonna go here so it's machine fold it seems like she has a freeze bug and uh, some brown cards we've got four mm, uh, it's a bit tricky to be honest but we're gonna go I think this will be fine mm -mm -mm. we haven't got a freeze bug I hate not having a freeze bug she's got three cards in hand so we can assume one of them is a freeze bug um, I'm gonna go with one Devimon. Okay, so it's forced to do something now. Bring out two Hagurumons, interesting. Okay. It's probably got an Aurora plug or something. Because we're still winning. 30. Okay. Um. I mean that's cool and all but we still win right we go to 108 50 so 50 and yeah so we should still win yeah cool and we actually keep all of our resources there we go I was hoping my maths wouldn't fail me there but that was alright that's cool and we keep all of our other stuff which is good to have and we're going first so it should be a nice easy win probably have another freeze bug yep she got another freeze bug so I guess I mm, could go for another do we even have another Devimon? we do Go for another deadly one. It's not a great hand to be honest, guys. We've only got one um, one disruption. We've got freeze bug. And all that freeze bug is gonna do is confirm our eclipse undo. Okay. Alright, so I'm gonna do the eclipse undo now. Actually I shouldn't, I shouldn't, I shouldn't, I shouldn't. Be smart, be smart. Because he's probably got another one one another one of those power up things. Oh no, it's got two good ones. Okay. I mean I still win. <laughs> well guys, let me just show you, yeah, what you want to keep your kind of freeze bugs for. So obviously you can do it to block their moves, but if they have a freeze bug in hand, then there's no point. You know, it's kind of it's a weird system, but you kinda of wanna do this. Where you do this and then... Oh, okay, fair enough. I thought you had a freeze bug. Never mind. Or maybe they just thought it was pointless anyways. But yeah, so yeah, so normally people would react and try and freeze bug your Eclipse Undo. And then you can freeze bug their one. But yeah. But you always want to wait until you go first. Because, yeah, it's, it's... Never mind. 15A. <laughs> 15A is actually not really a great booster pack, to be honest. It's got a few Megas, but... That's it really, nothing nothing else. You're strong. When the AOA comes, AOA comes, protect us. No worries, man. I got you, B. I got you. So we had um Flame Drummond before. But this one is Magnemon. He's one of my favorite Digimon of all time. Super super cool. Uh, we are gonna do some training. But what we before we do the training, we actually got an item from Boltmon, so you can steal or he can drop, drop it. Um, called, did you do? Where is it called? It's called Power Brace. Now you only really need one because you can just you know do it one at a time. But we managed to get two, so we're actually gonna use uh, these two right now. So we're gonna level up Patamon and we're gonna level up. Where, are you? Where, are, where is it? Power Brace. There it is. Uh, level up Patamon and Gilmon. They got about 30 something each. Um, we're going to do the 10. 
I know I usually say 5. I think I'm going to do the 10. Just because it worked out so really well for us. And now that we have the ID as well, everything is like super training. So we're going to go, yeah, except for that. But we're going to eventually make everything super. So, um, I'm going to do it 10. I guess I'll do a 10 for the speed. Yeah, so let's see if we can max out Gilmon's speed. That'll be cool. Oh, really? Right off the bat? Come on. And that's just one of the reasons why I don't like doing the 10, to be honest. Can we get it? No, Gilmon, come on. This was such an expensive training session. Come on, one more, one more, one more, please. All right. Not bad, we got it almost to 900, so can't complain. Uh, we'll do a couple more. Uh, do, 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 do. I kind of want to do his electricity, just to get that over, just to get that over. He's actually going to lower, I think, our spirit maybe? That's a lot of wisdom, ooh, okay. Just because we want to get this over, and I'm not sure if it actually affects uh, challenge or not. Yeah, boom. Now we've got a lot of resistance. We did lose a lot of wisdom, but that's quite easily made up. Yeah, so what I want to do as well, I actually want to start raising his... I want to raise his wisdom. I'd want to raise his spirit. His defense is okay for now. Shall I raise his defense? Yeah, we kind of do need to raise his defense. This game has a lot of physical attackers. So let's try to raise his defense. No, we'll leave it like this. Yeah, to get um, a certain digit evolution, I'm not sure if we need the electricity. So that's why I did that. Come on. We're not going to get the special challenge anymore. But at least we can push this as close as we can to 600. Nice. Cool. Let me do a couple with Patamon. So we're gonna do uh, we're gonna do spirit. Let's go Patamon. Nice. Nice. Let's get the challenge. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. No. <laughs> Thirty nine. Damn. Um, I want to get. I do. I want to do a bit of defense just to get her over 500 as well. Come on! Oh Jesus! Just get absolutely plastered. Come on! Come on! Come on! Come on! Come on! Come on! Nice. Let's just get all the rest now, Patamon. Let's go all the way, all the way, all the way. Yeah, boy. Nice, into the 500s, and I guess I'll do one more for spirit, right? Yeah, let's do one more for spirit. <clears throat> do need to raise the wisdom, actually. Wisdom's quite low. For Patamon, it's meant to be, that's meant to be like Patamon's main stat. Okay, don't fail the challenge this time. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. No! Damn. Right, not bad, not bad stats, could be better, could be better. We've got Gilmon at almost max speed, which is good, but he's now got some really good resistances as well. Patamon needs to up those resistances, boy. Oof. And Kumon, Kumon's going to be cool, but I'm going to leave Kumon for now. Patamon's our slowest Digimon at the moment. Uh, defense wise though Gilmon's doing good in defense you should notice he's meant to be the glass cannon type Kumon needs to raise up Patamon needs to get a defense up as well but I really want to get that spirit up up into the 900s so yeah Patamon's coming along quite nicely Kumon's gonna be really really cool once I get his strength maxed and stuff but yeah <clears throat> Alright guys, I think that is going to be it for the episode. Uh, we'll just go around... Oops. Um, 
around over here just to see in case we missed anything. But yeah, that's, I think this is going to be it for the episode, guys. Thank you very much for the support. Um, when we come back next time, we'll most likely be in Amaterasu server. Uh, Amaterasu server? Amaterasu like, city, like the Central Park version of it. Um, yeah, we'll probably do a few side quests that we have to do there. And then we should hopefully head into Amaterasu City. So guys, thank you so much for sticking around and for showing so much love and support. Um, you guys are awesome. Uh, I'm going to have the rest of this series finished very, very soon, hopefully. And I still have to release some Black Clover stuff that I said I was going to release. Though. But that hopefully should be kind of coming out in between these episodes and stuff. So guys, uh, yeah, leave a comment. On anything, anything you like, really, anything you want to see, any, give me, give me ideas. Uh, I'm hoping to try and improve myself as well. But yeah, thanks, guys. You know, you guys have been very, very cool. So take care, guys. Stay safe, especially now with this coronavirus out here. You know, be careful. And uh, hopefully, I'll see you guys in the next video. So peace out, everybody. Bye. Chinese on my diamond. Can I see me? Don't I? Invocation. Tiny vote.